homeschool family, Miss Sarah here, and we're here to do some science today. Now, I wrote up here, bean bag experiment. Hmm. So we know bean bag from the bean bag boogie, but this is not the bean bag boogie. I wrote the word experiment. Hmm, that's a big word, experiment. An experiment is like a type of science. Um, science test that scientists do to figure out what might happen. We're going to do an experiment where we put some of these beans into a bag with a paper towel and some water and I want to know if they're going to grow. Hmm. So what do you think plants need to grow? We've talked about it before. We think they need, what do you think guys? Hmm. Yeah, they need sun and they need water, and they need air, like us. Um, and a lot of times they need dirt, but sometimes they might be able to grow in another way. Maybe they just, they might be on a paper towel that soaks up the water. There is something called air plants, and they grow up in trees just kind of hanging off a tree. It's called an epiphyte. But I wanna know if we can grow this bean in a bag. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's gonna work? Do you think any sprouts will come out of this little seed? Huh. Now I know we just read Jack and the Beanstalk, and these are not magic beans. They're just beans from the store. They're, I think they're lima beans, and I didn't get them from a magic bean seller. So we're just gonna see if we can grow them. And we'll all take a picture every day, and we'll have to keep track. So let me show you how I usually do this. These are what you're gonna need for the experiment. These are called materials. You're gonna need a bag and a paper towel and a lima bean. You're gonna need some water and you're gonna need some tape to tape it to a window or somewhere that has a lot of light. You might be thinking, Miss Sarah, I don't have all that stuff. That's okay. We're gonna send you all this stuff in the learning packet that you get next. Um, don't, I don't know when I'm gonna post this video, so if I'm posting it, um, if I'm posting it on the week that we read Jack and the Beanstalk, then you're going to get it next week. But if I'm posting it the next week, then you're going to get it. Basically, if you already had a packet this week and there was none of this in it, don't worry. It's going to come next week. Okay? All right. I'll let you know when it comes. But I'm just really excited to show this to you. So first, I fold the paper towel in half like this. And I want to make sure the corners are meeting and I crease it like that. I want to fit it inside my Ziploc bag. Hmm, you think that's gonna fit all the way? I think I might have to fold it one more time, or maybe I can just, let me see. I'm gonna put it in and see what it looks like, and then if I need to, I'll fold it one more time. The paper towel's job is to soak up all the water. It's to absorb the water. Absorb means suck it all up. Now, Malaysia has told me before that there's a better picker-upper. I can't remember what brand this is. I don't know if this is the better picker upper, but hopefully it will work. Oh, I folded it again, and I think it fits really well like that. That's vertical like this. Let me try it horizontal. I'm gonna move it and see which way do I want it to sit. Hmm, let me see. Oh, okay. I think that will work. So I folded it like that, it's inside the bag. Now, I want my beans to be able to grow roots. Do you guys remember when we talked about the parts of a plant or a tree? It had the crown, trunk, and the roots, and the roots. Now this won't be a tree, but a lot of plants use roots to stretch out and grab the water from underground or from the bottom. So if this does grow, which I hope it does, the sprout will probably grow up like this toward the light, the green part, and then there might be some brown, stretchy little roots coming down. So I don't really want my bean to be at the bottom. I want it to be in the middle of the bag. So what I'm gonna do is use my stapler to create a little border right there. I'm gonna staple it up in the middle of the bag and try to make a line that the bean can sit on the staples. I don't wanna to totally block it because I want those roots to be able to reach down. Let's see if I can do that. I'm gonna do one. Ooh, and if you're doing this at home, be careful because staples can be sharp. So you might want um, your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa to help you. One, two, and maybe when I send this to you guys, I'll have it all stapled and ready for you in case you don't have a stapler. That way you can just kind of start watering your beans and watching them grow. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I did seven. Woo! I did 
seven staples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now that's going to allow my bean to sit right there, and that gives it some space to make its roots. I wonder if I could draw a picture for you for what I hope is going to happen. I'm going to draw in this bag with my special marker. So here's my bean. That's where I'm going to put my bean. See? I hope it sprouts some roots that go down like this. And I hope that a sprout grows up like this. Sometimes when I've done this before, it even grows out of the bag. But I know you're thinking, Miss Sarah, there's no dirt in that bag. How is it gonna grow? Um, we're just gonna have to see. Make your predictions in the comments. Do you think it will grow? Do you think it will work even though there's no dirt? Mm. Now I decided that I wanna put three beans in my bag. So I'm gonna put them right in the front. If I put them in the back, I won't be able to see what they're doing. And I want to be able to see. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. Three beans, see? There's my three beans. So in there they have air. I need to give them another ingredient that they need. I need to give them some water. Um, and I don't want to pour it all in. That might be too much. So if you're at home and you have a spoon, you could scoop it and open the bag like this and just kind of pour it on the beans. The paper towel is going to soak it up so that it holds the water. It's going to absorb it. I have a special tool that scientists use called a pipette. Can you say pipette? Yeah, it's a pipette. So I'm going to stick it in there, squeeze it, let it come up, and there we go. See, my um, pipette is filled. It says it has two and a half milliliters of water. Wow. So this lets me, oh, my beans are trying to move. Stay there, beans. This lets me squirt right down. I'm going to squirt it near the beans so that in the area that they are, the paper towel starts to soak up some of the water. I don't want to make it too wet so that there's a lot of water at the bottom, but I want the area that they're in to be pretty wet. So that they have lots of water to grow with. I'm gonna do one more I think and that should be good. Maybe tomorrow I'll check the beans and if they're really dry I might give them some more water but if they look damp then I think I'll leave them. I'm not sure if I want to close the bag. I think I'm gonna gently kind of close it not maybe all the way so that there are little pieces open but here's my thinking. If I close it all the way I don't know if they'll have enough air, but if I don't, I don't want the water to dry out. So we'll just try it like this. You can do it however you like the best. Okay, so let me check my what a plant needs. So I gave it water, check. It has air, check. No, it needs one more thing, remember? Oh yeah, sunlight. Okay, so I'm gonna use my tape. And if you need tape at home, let us know and we can, we can maybe send you some tape. Um, and I, the reason I want tape is because I'm going to tape it on that window over there. It's going to get a lot of light. Will you come with me? Let's see if we can do it together. Okay, I'm going to hold it up like this. Sorry if this is very bright. I'm going to put it up high. I know you can't see what I'm doing right now. I'm so sorry. I'm putting tape on the side like this. See, I put one piece like that. I'm going to put another piece right here so that it can stay. Let's get some more tape. This is a crazy ride I'm taking you on right now. Hope you buckled up for this ride. See, I got some tape. I'm going to rip it. Wow. The cinematics of this video are amazing. Okay, so I'm going to put it on this side. See, I want a piece of tape on both sides. Okay, here we go. Okay, there it is. I know it's a little uneven, but now it'll be able to have the sunlight coming in and has water and air. And I'm gonna write, I think I'm gonna write the day today. So I remember I can keep track of how many days it takes. I might write it over here on the side. I'm gonna write, it's April 14th. Okay, awesome, very, very cool. So we're gonna track this every day and we're gonna find out if these beans can grow. They don't have any dirt. They're not magic beans, but they do have water and sunlight and air. So let me know guys, do you think it will grow? And would you like to try this activity? Because I think we're gonna send it home in the packets next week. We'll probably send, like I said, the bag stapled and the beans in there and you guys can tape it to your window and put in some water. Let us know if you need tape. We can try to send you some, okay? Thank you so much.
thanks for doing science with me have a good day bye